check out this cave. The green room. At night time I get that green monster light just blaring in here. Have you got any spies in the alley? So I actually live under the same roof as a cafe. <laughs> Those tables are shut down at the moment due to COVID, but usually there's a good congregation of about 30 to 40 people sitting out there brewing in my front yard. Al Emery Black Angel model. 6-1, AN 5-8s, 2 and 5 sixteenths, glass in saws. It's a nice feeling not being able to just like mess with the bottom half of the surfboard. Sucks to travel with, but I figured I'm not traveling anywhere for a while, so might as well run some glass ins for a bit. First board, the uh, Mort Brits. Yeah, there's like an airbrush Go Harry on the on the side. I think my dad got him to put that on there. The whole bowl cut thing's funny because like I've, n I've never intended on like running the haircut but I literally like my mum gave me one when I was tiny like it's out of the eyes out of the ears I just figured that it was such a a convenient practical haircut that it, it, I just kind of ran it oh rip curl dropped me when I was 15 I said I'd rather work with my dad than a scrap metal recycler and through the QS. Last battle's been putting together these IKEA flat packs. Yeah, this is the Mitch Colborn model. He gets a uh, percentage of the uh, sales. Probably just like when the waves are really good and the wind's good for doing airs and you just can't stick one and it's just a mental and physical battle. <laughs> Sometimes you come out on top, sometimes you just get fucking stomped to the ground. the one that um, me and Al shaped. Yeah, smuggled that thing back from Hawaii. And it got so smoked on the rocks the other day. Tomo's, check that. Last time I lost the board on the rocks. <laughs> we were actually towing in on the Thundercat. First time we were doing it. And yeah, snapped my leggy and the thing got fucking smoked. Yeah, it smashed a the rock there. Yeah, if the board's a complete write-off. I'm gonna bust it open. We're in a place called Penong at the local pub there and um, I got talking to like a, a local lad who would have been in his late 60s and he said he was picking up a new board. This guy Paul Gravel, a local shaper, he was set up like in, a, <laughs> in like an abandoned church kind of thing and he'd been shaping in there for years. Basically the guy who was picking up the new board couldn't afford to get home because he had no money for petrol. So he was trying to flog his old board to pay for his new one and then pay for petrol to get home. I kind of like was going to buy it off him anyway just to support him and make sure he got home safely. Seven foot four, had like a little baby swallow on it, glass in fins, nice gloss finish. It looked like it had been like 20 or 30 years old but it just looks like it had been kept in really good condition. Yeah, bought it off a guy for 200 bucks. It's nice riding boards that have little backstories like that. Could be that. <laughs> B-Day present for the missus. She loves bars. She's always wanted one. Has one out and buddy got one, didn't he? KB doesn't even know yet. She's gonna be frothing. It looks sick, eh? Zoom up on those feet. 
My mum's from Cornwall. And I actually spent some time over there. I went to school there. I'm a little pommy. Little pommy boy. Was this board actually with Bryce Young. Nat Young got these like rice paper lambs from um from Vietnam, like in the 70s, and he had them laying around the garage and he gave me one to put on this board. It's got so much kick this thing, it's a joke. But um it came at the right time because a lot of the uh, a lot of the roads and natural parks have been closed. So the only way in and out is with this guy right here. It's a Thundercat. I bought it off a guy who used it for racing. Last surf trip I went on was uh, to Fiji. Chris Robbo, who's a uh, Sparky. Oh, it's going on tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, I might go to Fiji. He booked a ticket on his credit card. He had no boards. Basically called in sick for a week. Borrowed all my boards. And, um, and yeah, he just winged it. But he made it work and he surfed so sick. Last house guest was Dion. And he left all his shit here. But yeah, there's his two little boards there. One for each foot. He's trapped down in Tassie, so I might flog all his shit on Gumtree. Or if anyone's interested. Oh, oh, oh no, he's gone for good now. <laughs>